Mo Pelini Kufu, and I'm here with my partner, Ronnie Pamford, to talk about our circuits and electronics project on a digital clock. So for our digital clock, we are using an Arduino to multiplex the display. The Arduino provides the, the values for each digit, and the CD4051 IC allows us to switch each digit, write its value, and then switch to the next one. So we use four different transistors, which the CD4051 powers on for each digit. This potentiometer controls the hours, this potentiometer is for the alarm, and this potentiometer controls the number of minutes. So currently it's 11.23 am and I'm coming to adjust the time. So by pushing this potentiometer to the right, you see that the minutes hand increases in number. So you do this until the, the time required, you set that the time required. So you push it back to the middle to, to pause it, and this potentiometer will be able to increase the number of hours required and it's set in such a way that it never passes 20, 24. So after 24, it goes back to zero, zero. If you want to reduce, you just take it to the other side and it reduces accordingly. The meter right here is used to set the alarm. So when we turn the knob to the left, we go into alarm mode. This um, allows the clock to record in the background by display the current time onto the display. So I can adjust the minutes time to when I want to set my alarm. So let's say I want to set my alarm at 1.51. When I've set the alarm at 1.51 and I revert back to normal mode, then the clock goes back to the the time it was set was timing in the background. To a fully functioning digital clock, we we could eliminate the use of an Arduino which causes this flashing during multiplexing and rather use IC4026 which is a binary counter to a certain segment display coupled with a timer 555 to give the one second 